the first episode of JGDSDH Reviews. I'm your host, JGDSDHST. Today I'm going to be reviewing a movie which I bought mm, a couple of months ago. It's a... Uh, it comes from that line of movies that you find in your local DVD shop. It's like four movies for like two euro or something. Or whatever your currency is. Well, today's movie is one which I'm kind of looking forward to talking about, and kind of not. <clears throat> You'll see why in a moment. Octopus. Octopus is a rather interesting movie, in the sense that it's a made-for-TV movie made by the USA Network. And I think it's come from, like, the Sci-Fi Channel or something, but no, USA. But this DVD was distributed by Hollywood DVD. You might remember them from distributing a couple of Godfrey Ho movies and not much else. Apparently they were they discontinued in 2005. Sir, we lost you! Yeah, either way, it's not a very interesting story. But anyway, back to Octopus. Uh, the movie itself, um, it's made for TV. It's about, a, about an octopus. And, uh, it's got sort of like that 1950s uh, MST3K or Godzilla type of action movie here. Where it's like a lot of talking and a lot of bickering and a lot of that shit. But this one's different is because it was made 50 years later and it's about a giant, poorly animated octopus. You won't find that in the 50s. But in all seriousness, um... I wouldn't say it was dull, despite all the talking and the one-note characters and the lack of development. Mm. I could definitely say I've seen worse. Yeah, that's about it. Um, all in all, the movie itself, uh, the characters were not very interesting. The plot was kind of stock standard, if a few years out of date. And all in all, don't don't give it a watch. It, if you're looking for cheesy fun, look elsewhere. Look at I don't know Sharktopus or the Meg or fucking uh, let me pick a random title here. Fucking Fifty Shades of Grey or some shit. Actually, no. this this is worse than this. Far worse. Much much worse. Mayday, Mayday. This is the SSN Roosevelt. We are down. 